and specifically for you kids, congratulations on making it here this far. Throughout the entire year, we train thousands of kids in Malaysia, and you are so fortunate to be here. You should be very proud of yourselves. But let us not forget why you are here. I want you to definitely send a round of applause for all of your parents who allowed you to join us here today. Thank you for all the parents. Now since 2014, we've trained over 600,000 kids in Malaysia. We've trained over 1,400 teachers from your schools. And this continues to grow year after year. We visited cities like Johor, Penang, Salador, Kedah, and various others throughout the year before we came here today to, to this finale event. Now the basketball, of course, training is all very important, but what's more important than all of that is the character values, the junior and the character values. Regardless of how much basketball you learn, how much better you get, don't forget what's really important, and that's the star values. And I know all of you know that, but for the crowd here, we reinforce the star values throughout our entire program. S for sportsmanship, T for teamwork, A for a positive attitude, and R for respect. Of course, respect for your coaches, respect for your parents, respect for your peers as well. Now, I've seen a lot of that throughout the day. I see some of you kids get knocked down. I see some of you kids get bumped. But it's okay, because when we see your teammate and even members of the other team help you get back up, that's what it's all about. Respect and teamwork. So congratulations on demonstrating the character values of you. You guys all deserve a good job. Sponsors, coaches, teachers, students, guests, and more importantly also, all the onlookers and the fans. Um, I was just discussing with uh, Dr. Mahindra, saying that it's been 55 years for Malaysia, and uh, five years of a partnership with the Junior NBA. What I think is important here, and, and like PMC was saying, drink, move, be strong. Why did Dutch Lady come up with this? About five years back, we did a Southeast Asia nutrition survey, which came out very clearly that there are kids who are the future of this country, they do have nutritional deficiency. Which is quite unlikely when we got to know that there is a nutritional deficiency of vitamin D in this country. And that was quite strange when there's so much of sun. And then we realized that the kids are not getting the right nutrition, but also they're not playing out, they're not playing under the sun, they're not being physically active. So that triggered this partnership that we are talking about, but also the one of our primary schools in Subhangai. We were not surprised that there were nearly 3,000 kids over two days. The kids came in their hundreds to be part of this program. The growth said that kids are interested in physical activity. They do want to play. Slowly, the A's in academics do not matter solely. There is more to education than just academic excellence. This year, in partnership with the Ministry of Education, the Junior NBA Malaysia expanded to continue your work, continue to have fun playing as well. And Rob, can you just answer that question as well, but also describe your experience coaching the Malaysian athletes so far? They're full of vigor, energy, and that passion that we always speak about. Yeah, it's been an amazing experience this week, and also through the whole process of being an RSC with the thousands of kids that we had and also in the schools throughout the last few months. And so with our partnership with Dutch Lady and the Ministry of Education, the Sport Division, Westport and all of the other people that are involved in this process, it's been really, really important for us to work with the kids and the last three days with Malcolm and the kids has been, uh, it's been one of my favourite events that I've ever done. So. I'm really grateful to be standing here today and to have had the opportunity to work with the kids and uh, happy to help some, some dreams be realized right now. Now let's speak about the nutrition factor and I'll ask Malcolm to answer this question. As Tyron was saying, two glasses you work every day, keeps the doctor away. But Malcolm, as a young player who goes against high-profile competitors, 
really, really great athletes, not just in America, but around the world. How important is it for athletes to pair proper nutrition with regular exercise? Uh, it's very important to eat right, to make sure you're drinking milk, water, um, stay hydrated, because the older you get, the more you have to take care of your body. Your body's not always going to just be able to get out there and perform if you're not taking care of it. So it's eating the right way, eating vegetables, uh, staying hydrated, like I said, and just doing the things you need for your body so they can perform for you. And last question, I'll start with you, Rob, first, and then I'll come to you and ask the same question as well. Surely we will be selecting eight boys and eight girls for the Junior NBA All-Stars for all our participants. What would be your message to them for these aspiring athletes who want to play professionally in the big leagues, just like Malcolm Rodeo, even like you, Rob, coach at the very level as well? Yeah, I mean, for the, for the kids that get selected, um, it doesn't mean that you've reached the pinnacle. You still have lots of work to do. Because when we go to Shanghai, you'll be competing against players from other countries, and that will be hopefully the start of your journey towards your dreams. And then for those of you that don't get selected, um, you know you're going to experience something very disappointing, and I think you should experience that. Be here for it; it's not going to feel very good, but disappointments and losses should serve as motivation for what it is that you want to achieve next. So maybe you will be disappointed today, but tomorrow is Monday, set a new goal and get off of that. And I would uh, repeat the same point for me. Disappointments and failure or not being selected, that's happened to me a lot, but that served as motivation. Um, it served as something that I look at every time I get on the court in the morning. So if I wasn't selected today, I'd be in, I'd be in the gym at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. the next day, working as hard as I can. Because even when you are selected, there are going to be people in other countries, people in other cities, all over the world that are not working. So those are the people you have to be comparing yourself to. Okay, so it's not just getting to the highest level here, it's getting the best you can be, so that you can be one of the best in the world. That's what it's about. So you've got to continue to push yourself whether or not you make the selection. But if you don't make the selection, it gives you more ammo, it gives you more fire, and so that you can work harder and be more motivated. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking Coach Rob and Malcolm for their great advice, not just for all the young athletes here today, but for the inspiration for everybody. Thank you very much.